Now you can record a video of yourself like this, and then transfer the dialogue, gestures, and movements to any image that you desire. All the lip syncing, body movement, even the smallest facial expressions accrue, they all get matched beautifully. Yes, it will copy everything accurately. This is going to change everything. Let's see how to do this. To do this, you need to use a brand new tool by Runway AI, which is called Act2, which as the name suggests, allows you to copy the gestures, movements, and even the dialogue over from one video to another image, to animate it, or even to another video. So let's see how this works. First of all, you'll have to go to Runway, create your account, but you will have to be on at least the standard plan because this is not available on the free plan. So let me just show you the pricing for that. You can see here on the standard plan, if you pay monthly, this is gonna be $15 per month. And here you will be able to see that we have Act 2 right here. So how this works is once you do create your account, you log into the interface, you're gonna go over to the video generation interface. And here you will find this option that says Act Two. So let me click on that. Now you need two things. One is called as a performance video and the other one is called as a character image or a character video. So let's see both these things according to the examples that you had seen in the starting of this video. So first let's talk about the performance video because this is where you'll either record yourself or someone else and this is going to be the video from which you will be taking the movements, the gestures and the dialogue from. So in this example, this was the performance video. Yes, it will copy everything accurately. This is going to change everything. Let's see how to do this. Now this doesn't have to be a professional video like this, even if you just take out your cell phone and even if it doesn't look very professional, the lighting is not that great, all these things don't matter. As long as the dialogue is clear and your movements can be noticed, that's more than enough because Runway does this very, very accurately as you are gonna see. So one is that you need such a video. Another is gonna be the more creative side of things which is where do you wanna transfer all this to? Now this can either be an image or a video itself. I'll later on talk, be talking about the differences between the both, but most of the times you'll actually be just using an image. So you'll have to create an image, anything that you desire basically. In this case, I've gone for the consistent character approach. So I wanted to create something similar to what, how she looks and then different versions of her. So let's see some of the variations that you saw in that demo video. So one was her in this, Spider-Man costume over the top of the building. Then there was this animated look. This. And you, so, you saw that it pretty much did a very accurate job when it came to transferring all that to these images. So this is the important part. In case you are going for this consistent character look, how did I actually create these images? So let me just show you how to do this using Flux Context. So once you go over to Flux Context, you will be able to use it 50 times completely for free. The link is again in the description. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I just took a screenshot from that particular video that is gonna serve as a reference image from, v from which we will generate the consistent characters. So I'm gonna first of all upload that here and then we're gonna type in the prompt. All right, so our reference image is here and then I just used a very simple prompt like this. Make her wear a superwoman costume. She's standing in a living room. She's looking straight at the camera. Now this is important, this part that she's looking at the camera because runway people themselves say that if your performance video, whatever composition it had, it has, if you keep something similar to that in your creative image also, the results are just much better. And since in the performance video, she was looking straight at the camera, that's why I'm writing this. Otherwise, I've even seen if the angle is different, she's looking somewhere else, it still does a pretty good job. So it's not like it's 100% required. But the next thing is very important, which is this last part, which says medium, full shot, three by four. I'll just tell you what this means and why this is important. By the way, I have given you this prompt because you will be able to turn this into any other character also, like I'm gonna be showing you later on. So you'll find this prompt in the description. But right now, let's just, one variation should be enough just to save some credits and I'll leave everything as it is. Let's just generate this image because I just want to talk about this last phrase that I had written there, medium full shot three by four. Because when you do get the image, it's very important that you can see the hands in the image like this. 
That's why it's a three by four medium full body shot. Because if the hands are not seen, you have to remember one thing, most of the times you will be transferring over the gesture from the performance video. And if in the creative image, the hands are not seen, then you're relying on the AI to generate something there. And sometimes it just doesn't do a very good job with the hands. So therefore, this last phrase will be very important. But you can see that we start to get some good images like this. And I can easily now change this first part to something else and generate a new image. So this time, it's just changed to this. This woman is an astronaut wearing a space suit. She's in a spaceship. She's looking straight at the camera. And again, the same thing. And then you can just keep on creating as many images as you want. You can turn her into a cartoon, any other sort of a character, but you can see it becomes pretty easy. And once you start to get uh, images like this, in this case, it didn't follow the part where she's supposed to be in a spaceship. So sometimes you might just have to uh, generate more number of images to get that. But the point is you will be able to create characters using this particular method. Now it's time to download one of these images and go back to runway. So once we are back here, we're gonna add our performance video right here. So I can just hit select asset since I already have this video already here in Runway. Next, I'm gonna add the image that we just generated. All right, so both the things are here. So now a couple of settings here. You can see the aspect ratio setting. If you want, you can change this. This would mean I can actually crop this also. And it doesn't have to be similar to the original video in its aspect ratio. This can be anything that you want. We are simply transferring over the movements and the dialogue here. So right now I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Then there's some settings. How much degree of the facial expressiveness do you want to carry here? I just like to leave it at the default so that there are no artifacts. And I've just seen the default value of three is actually pretty good. The next is, do you actually want to transfer the gestures or not? You can switch this on or off. If you switch it off, then the movements won't carry on. Only the dialogue will. So sometimes that can be important also. But here, I want the movement also. And in most cases, you will want that. So I'm going to leave this on. And here you can see that it's just showing you the duration of the video that will be generated. So right now it's equal obviously to the performance video. Each second will cost you five credits. So in this case, it's gonna cost you 40 credits. So you can see that is enough for me right now. It starts off on the standard plan with 625 credits per month, but you can add your credits anytime. Right now we are going to simply hit generate and that's it. You really don't need to do anything apart from this. And it takes around two to three minutes for this to complete. So let's wait for this. All right, so our video is ready, so let's have a look at this. Yes, it will copy everything accurately. This is going to change everything. Let's see how to do this. Yes, it will copy everything. So you can see that was pretty flawless. There are some different results with some other character images that I had used that you had seen before. Yes, it will copy everything accurately. This is going to change everything. Let's see how to do this. Now you can record a video of yourself like this and then transfer the dialogue, gestures, and movements to any image that you desire. Now you can record a video of yourself like this and then transfer the dialogue, gestures, and movements to any image that you desire. All the lip syncing, body movement, even the smallest facial expressions accrue, they all get matched beautifully. All the lip syncing, body movement, even the smallest facial expressions accrue, they all get matched beautifully. So you can see that all these generations look really good. And the best part is act two doesn't really require two takes. Right on the first attempt, most of these generations came out and none of them had any sort of artifacts or any other lip syncing issues. Everything here that you saw was on the first go. One thing you must have noticed here is that in most of these, it's only the subject that is moving and the background is static. That's because we're using a character image. Remember earlier on in the video, I also talked about the fact that you can use a character video itself instead of, instead of the image. In that case, you will see all the movements that were there in the original video. But there is one downside, whenever you use a character video, it's not gonna pass on the gesture movement. So gesture movements are disabled when you use a character video. So let me show you what I mean by that. Act two people themselves have described this, uh, this thing on this particular page. I'll leave a link to this in the description if you wanna go through it again, but you can see here the distinction between using an image and a video. So if this is your performance video, you can see that her gestures won't be transferred if you're using a video but only the facial expressions and the dialogues will. 
the movement will be there from the original video. So you can go through this to understand this in a better way. Right now, let's get back to runway. I also tried to really push the boundaries a bit. The runway people said it doesn't really work very well when in the performance video, a whole body is there or if the, mo or if the movement is too complex. So I wanted to just test that out. So I actually used this video of this woman dancing And I wanted to transfer this to this image that I had created inside ChatGPT of this alien standing in a bedroom. And these were the results. So you can see that was not bad at all. But then I wanted to see if this also works if I use it on a real image of a person. So again, the same performance video, but just change it to this particular portrait. And this was the result. So you can see that this time there were some artifacts and it just didn't look that good. So yes, definitely, this is not a perfect tool, but I would say if the gestures, the movements and the dialogues are not too complex, you can get away with a lot of things here. So if you're someone who's into making animations, making films, or even uh, you are someone you rely a lot on the very new AI avatar creation, because that is also something that is going to get impacted by this then this is a great tool because a lot of these avatar companies were promoting their new tools based on the fact that the avatars were getting good at human-like emotions. But then with Runway Act 2, now you actually have the gestures and the movements of a real human transferred absolutely accurately. So this is going to pretty much eat up the avatar industry in my opinion. And in the future, once it gets more refined, this is going to have a big impact in the animation and the filmmaking world. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And for more AI editing tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.